Um, dear guests, colleagues, participants, good morning, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you. I would particularly like to welcome all of our international guests and participants, all of you who will share their experiences in governing cultural resources, all of you who will take the role of one of the keynote panelists, speakers, and chairs, all of you who will present your research papers, and all of you who will actively participate in this dynamic and interactive gathering. Without your contribution, knowledge, experience, and willingness to share and take your time to be with us in Rijeka, this conference would not be possible. This is the participatory governance in culture, exploring theory, practices, and policy, do it together conference, which Cultura Nova is organizing in partnership with Rijeka 2020, as well as in collaboration with European Cultural Foundation and International Federation of Arts Council and cultural agencies. The conference is also part of the Approaches to Participatory Governance of Cultural Institutions Projects, which is supported by UNESCO International Fund for Cultural Diversity. The conference is also supported by the Regional Intergovernmental Forum Central European Initiative. It, is, it has been selected also as an ANCACT labeled event. The conference would not be possible with our, uh, with, without our host, Hrvatski uh, Kulturni Dom and Molecula. I would also like to thank to our sponsor, Croatia Airlines, uh, Qatar Airlines, Marošević Wine, Wines of Istra, Sina Wine, Jamnica, Nova Runda and Prostoria. We are incredibly pleased for such great interest shown for the conference. It seems that participatory governance is alive and well, but we'll see. It is a big event for us. The program is shaped in a way to attract your interest, and I hope you will find the program useful and inspiring. The conference intends to challenge us to rethink every aspect of conventional thought and practice regarding to the role of citizens, governments, as well as cultural practitioners on the path forward for our cultural and social practices. Cultura Nova is a public foundation that represents one of the most significant shifts in Croatian cultural policy in the past 27 years. In the cultural system, that is a predominantly focus on the framework of institutional and representative culture, Cultura Nova's mission is to provide professional and financial support to civil society organizations, meaning non-profit and non-governmental associations in contemporary arts and culture. Funding of Cultura Nova in itself is a result of a cultural policy change and institutional innovation after a six years long advocacy process initiated by the independent cultural scene and actors in Croatia. Being the only public body committed to sustaining and developing civil sector in contemporary arts and culture, Cultura Nova is continuously confronted with the challenge of getting an adequate insight into the needs and operation of cultural civil sector in order to be able to actively contribute to the creation of long-term strategies in the field of culture and civil society. Cultura Nova remains the only of its kind in the region of Southeastern Europe, while the similar examples are scarce in the European and broader international area. To quote my colleague Anna Juvela, the work of Cultura Nova has become notable in the position of proactive policy makers that effectively invest their resources in probing, anticipating, investigating, listening to, imagining and endorsing forms of powers just coming into vision, as Rogoff Schneider stressed, indicating direction of better future as the potential and possibility for cultural sector in Croatia. 
through its action as a grant-making foundation, Cultura Nova recognized emerging practices of participatory governance as an important phenomenon that deserve our attention as a foundation. Namely, in Croatia, there are examples of public spaces initiated by the platforms of civil society organizations that, uh, that function as a cultural resource shared by a number of users and are open to the public as an accessible space of cultural and social activity. These examples address the importance of participatory governance of shared cultural spaces as well as their relevance in society, cultural democracy and sustainability on local levels. Though inventive in the creation context, these examples have not been fully affirmed, developed and promoted by the policy and decision makers, especially on the municipal and city level. As a foundation, also working as an operating foundation and with the wish to give more professional support to such institutional innovations, Cultura Nova has conceptualized and developed the approaches to participatory governance of cultural institutions project. One of the activities within the project is this conference whose aim is to explore the diverse perspective of participatory governance in culture. All of that brings us to the important point that participatory mechanism in cultural policy and in a governance and management of cultural sector rest on the idea of developing and decentralization of power structures that define existing decision-making structures in cultural policy and cultural domain in favor of more democratized and empowered models based on the shared responsibility, accountability, and greater legitimacy. Participatory governance comes from the tradition of participatory democracy that originated from the United States in the 60s and 70s through the youth movements. It is also related to participatory development that involves people within the development process and became very popular in the 80s and 90s as a response to globalization and neoliberal development policies. Participatory governance goes beyond poverty reduction. Effective equality in society, it is not possible without participatory decision making. The promise of participatory mechanism in governance and decision making process is related to transformation of public policy. Citizens' engagement in decision-making process of planning, resources, allocations, and so on could contribute to building a better policy. Participatory governance is also part of Goal 16 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which states the provision of justice for all and building of effective, accountable and inclusive institutions. None of this is possible if people do not have a voice in their societies. Aspect of Goal 16 means inclusive governance, participatory mechanism, mechanism by which citizens can mean meaningfully influence policy making. There is a range of ways to think about how to create a model of inclusive government and more participatory decision making. But do we discuss this topic enough? This conference hopefully gives us that opportunity. We want to see how participatory governance can contribute to achieving sustainability in cultural development by decreasing the gaps between the cultural system, cultural policy, cultural institutions, and community needs. The conference is envisioned as a platform for connecting participants from different cultural environments, thus enabling and promoting networking and the exchange of practical and theoretical knowledge about the mechanism of participatory governance by gathering scholars, researchers, cultural operators, artists, practitioners, activists, policy makers and decision makers from across the world and from a broad range of disciplines, the conference directly aims at fostering intercultural dialogue, promoting cultural democracy and affirming cultural diversity. 
Therefore, the conference presents an interdisciplinary effort in collecting new information, in discussing various practical, theoretical, and political approaches and meanings of participatory governance in different geopolitical and social contexts, and in generating new ideas for integration of these practices into the existing framework of cultural and other relevant policies. The title of the conference has already revealed our main task, which is to bring together practitioners, researchers, and policymakers involved in various aspects of participatory governance field in order to create a unique space for exchanging, sharing, and learning about different approaches and logics of setting up new institutional formats based on co-governing of multiple stakeholders. Curious to learn and explore the participatory governance model, the conference program is going to reflect on the programming and community engagement in the new forms of cultural institutions and organizations, as well as in a new paradigm in local cultural development and involvement of government and various bodies on the supranational, national, regional, and local levels. I sincerely hope that the discussions within the three days of the conference dynamic program with the keynote speeches, plenary discussions, research paper sessions, participatory sessions, artistic programs, and space for sharing, exchanging, and networking will lead to better understanding of practices of participatory governance in culture. This could be a step towards important changes in local cultural planning and community development, since such practices are the tools that have the potential to improve social, cultural, economic, and ecological aspects of local environment and preserve resources and create legacy for the future generation. We have tried to set up the program and the venue in a way to stimulate you to act, but also to react in discursive and physical space. I hope this conference will get us closer to understanding the idea, important, and consequences of participatory governance and participatory agenda in culture. Welcome, and let's share the responsibility of having a wonderful, challenging, and inspiring conference. Do it together. And finally, I would like... Thank you. I would like uh, to warmly give thanks to our partner, Rijeka 2020, and invite Irena Kregar Shegota to take the floor and welcome all of you and give us a short introduction on behalf of Rijeka 2020. Irena, the floor is yours. Thank you.